All right, hello everybody. Uh, I am doing this video to show the factory swashplate motion on a Blade 230S. Uh, this is the ready-to-fly version, uh, so it came with the DXE transmitter. Um, everything on this helicopter is stock with the exception of the uh, Genuine Blade orange main blades and uh, the Micro Heli carbon fiber tail fin that I spray painted orange just for better visibility. Um, I even still have the stock battery on it right now. Um, now you'll see I have the battery really far forward. That's as far forward as it'll go before it actually hits the canopy. And the reason for that is because this heli is notorious for its center of gravity. Uh, it is very tail heavy. As you can see how much it leans back like this and the canopy, adding the canopy to it has nearly zero effect on, you know, leveling that out a little better. But what you'll see a lot of guys do is they'll actually put some tire weights or some type of sticky weight on the front of, under the chassis here uh, to give it a much better center of gravity. I personally choose not to, but um, it is a good idea for most people to. Uh, so next up is always turning on the transmitter first and they say wait at least five seconds before connecting the battery on the helicopter it allows the transmitter to find a clear channel um, to be able to broadcast through um, and then one of the most important things is when you plug the battery in you have to make sure the helicopter is sitting on a, a flat level surface um, and after you plug it in you have to wait you have to let it sit you do not want to touch it at all until it initializes those beeps and the swash twitching is to let you know that it has initialized and now you can move around all you want. Um, but during that initialization is when it calibrates the gyros and that's for the fly barless system. Uh, if, it, if you move it around during that initialization period, it will not fly right. It will do some really funky things actually. So you always want to make sure that you're not touching it at all during that, that initialization right after plugging in the battery. Um, all right, so I am currently in, I have throttle hold is on. Um, this is the rate switch and the flight mode switch. Uh, right now, I am starting it off in stability mode. And what you will see is, here's collective, and here's cyclic, forward, backward, left, right. Um, in stability mode, uh, the first thing you'll notice is when you go to take off, you'll notice that it always leans a little bit to the right. And the reason for that is, because in stability mode, it is trying to bring the entire chassis to a stable hover. And in order to be stable, it has to maintain whatever position it would normally hover in a fixed position in. And in a stable hover, the model actually has a slight lean to the right due to the tail rotor thrust. So when it's on flat ground, you'll see the swash will actually tip a hair to the right because it's actually trying to accomplish that slight lean as if it was in the air. Uh, so that is the reason why they always tip a little to the right during spool up when in stability mode. And if you look, you can see the swash plate. This is the auto leveling feature of stability mode. The swash plate will move on its own. It'll counter the angle of the chassis in the air to try to return it to level. It will do it in all directions. And if it flips upside down, it will even go to whichever side is closest to be able to straighten it back out again and bring it to a level upright hover. So you can see forward and backward, the swash does angle itself to try to return it back to a level hover. And again with the cyclic control, you can see how fast this is. And it does have a slightly dampened return to level. I believe is that is to help stabilize it during the flight. Uh, so next up I will bring it to agility mode or idle up one or some some people call it stunt one. In this mode you will see that the swash does move a little bit when the chassis moves around but that is strictly for the fly barless setup. That is to stabilize everything. It is actually what simulates a fly bar from an older uh, fly bar type helicopter. So it will move, but that's only for the fly barless stuff. If it sits, you can see it will actually remain level. If I angle it, it always returns to level. And collective input, 
forward, backward, right, left. I'm sorry, that was cyclic. Collective, positive, negative pitch. And 3D mode, or stunt two, is exactly the same as agility mode, it just has a little bit higher head speed. So you can see the swash will do all of the same things as it did in the previous mode. It's the fly barless. Uh, here's some cyclic motion. It's still a little bit dampened returning to level. So it, it does not snap back to level as fast as the stick does on the controller. Collective is as fast as you can move the stick. So that is quite rapid. Alright, that well sums it up.